Hey, this is Sam from Architects, and you're watching rockforevermagazine.com. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I'm here right now with Sam from Architects. How's it going today? Yeah, good. Good, yeah. yeah Very you good. You guys had a rockin' sound check. So excited yeah. for the show, and it's sold out tonight, too. Yeah. So congrats on that. Thank you very much. How's Orlando been treating you so far? Well, for, for four very pasty Englishman. Uh, Orlando is uh, something we're not very used to, but yeah. every time we're in Orlando, we have a good time, and uh, we just walked to some uh, beautiful lake in the middle okay. of town. We did last time we were here with Enishikara as well, so we went back there and got a coffee and had a walk around, yeah. and yeah, it's really nice. Well, maybe you'll leave here not so pasty, get a tan in yeah. the sun, right? Let's hope so. But well, we are gonna start with a few finish the sentence for you. Ooh. So the highlight of your career so far was when? Uh, I think probably uh, being in the top 20 in the UK yes. when uh, Lost Forever was number 16 is so, was such a massive achievement for us. Absolutely. So yeah, I think that one definitely for sure. Yeah. And now your favorite place to visit on tour is? Uh, like a venue or a place or? That's up to you. Just like what's your favorite destination on tour? Somewhere you always look forward to seeing. I, I love being in California. I, yeah. can't, I can't even pretend. Like I get so stoked when we're in California. <laughs> I, I love the weather and there's always so many cool friends that we have there as well. So yeah, I always get stoked in California. Awesome. And now your favorite snack on tour is? Uh, is chicken tenders. Really? Yeah, it's these fake, we're all vegan, so it's like fake uh, chicken tenders. Oh, you were vegan? I yeah. was like, really? They're like the one, they're like Guardian ones. Oh, yeah. yeah so like our, our bandwagon is just full of, oh, of them. No. We just have a grill and we just put them on every day, so. Stocked for life. Yeah, that's it. And now the biggest challenge you overcome as a band was? Um, I think uh, maybe when we released it here and now, we had a few challenges like touring mm -hmm. that. Uh, but I, I think maybe touring out here, like just continually touring out here and finally like people seem to know who we are and uh, yeah, I think it was a big challenge to get where we are in, in this country, so yeah. I mean, it can be very difficult when you become super popular in the UK to match that in another country. Yeah. Totally yeah. different continent, really, so. Yeah. And last one here, a common misconception about the band is... Uh, anything you want to clear up right now? Floor's yours. Floor is ours. No, there is not... That, well. I, I think the, there isn't really many misconceptions because I think we're we're all very very honest about the band. Like there's no there's no egos. No one's no one thinks they're fucking cool or anything. We just we just love playing music, and I think so. I don't think there is many misconceptions because everyone just kind of knows what we're about. That's good though. Yeah. I think it's a good thing yeah. to not have people wondering what you're all about. Oh, it's straightforward. See, I did see one thing actually on the internet the other day that was that I was apparently thinking of leaving the band. You're which, not right. No, which okay. is absolutely crazy. Ooh, just no, check it. After ten years of work, when the band just starts doing really well, I don't think I'm going to leave. Thanks. Good call. <laughs> Good call. Please don't leave anytime yeah. soon. And now, if you guys had to come up with a mission statement of what it is you guys want to just accomplish through music, what would that be? Uh, I think through through music, music's such a powerful tool nowadays. I think. We just want to spread a message of hope and like awareness of the things that we're talking about and uh, like know that there is bands out there that do talk about important things, not just these, these derogatory bands that just come out of nowhere and t talk about like this sexist, like boring, like generic trash, like trying to be dangerous. I'm just so <laughs> over music like that and I just, yeah. I think now is a time where uh, we can make a difference through like having whatever platform you have as a band like talking about things that are actually important um, I think more bands should do it and I think our mission statement is just like you know be hopeful and talk about real shit and educate people yeah and I can see that with Let Live too so it's really exactly. cool that you guys are on a co-headlining tour together you mm -hmm. have a similar mission statement there and mm -hmm. I love that yeah and your album Lost Forever Lost Together is out now um, what's the significance behind that album title uh, well it's the same thing really like along the same lines is we're all in this together, like, no matter what goes on in the world and how, how like, you know, things start falling to shit, we're all responsible for it. We all need to stand up and, and be counted because we're all in this together. And, you know, at the end of the day, like, when, it all, when push comes to shove, we're all going to be in this together, so. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's something that's so cool about music. It kind of brings people together like we're seeing tonight at yeah, the show. Exactly. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. Like, music is such a powerful tool and uh, it's just amazing to see... Uh, both our bands be able to play a venue like this and have sold out shows it, it gives me real hope for, for music yes 
And this is the first album you guys released through Epitaph Records, mm -hmm. which it's a pretty major step to yeah. switch record labels. Oh, yeah. um, so how did that affect you guys with this release? Uh, well, we, it was nice to have a label that really cared about us. That was the first, uh, first thing. Um, but no, they've just been so amazing. So mm -hmm. amazing. Like they, You see they follow their bands like so they're so so switched on like they know everything that we're doing all the time they've got such an amazing like online presence they always like you know they're just so nice it's so nice to like be able to have a label that you can put faces to because we didn't really ever know anyone at our last label we kind of felt like a sore thumb and Epitaph has just made us feel so welcome and uh yeah, they're just such a great label. Yeah. With and amazing bands as well. So. True. And you hear so many bands with horror stories yeah. about their record label, so it's really refreshing to hear mm -hmm. that you actually like yeah. Epitaph. Yeah. Good to go. Yeah, well done. Yeah. And you were mentioning you guys uh, reached the top 20 in the UK, which is a pretty major step for you guys as well. Um, so being a heavier band, what are your thoughts on achieving mainstream success now that you've had a taste of it? Well, it's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I think like the... Beyonce was behind us and then like we had someone crazy in front of us but <laughs> like you know they've been their albums have been out for so long so I mean it was still cool to be surrounded by artists like that but I think if anything again it's just cool that a band like us like just dudes that enjoy playing music can be uh, can be in the top 20 I, I think it's crazy like you know we, we deliberately went out to write like the heaviest album we possibly could <laughs> And then for it to chart, it's just, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's something you don't see that often. So yeah. it's nice to know you can be true to yourselves, play the music you want to play, and still be successful. Yeah, it was really humbling for us to, to kind of to be there. It's really, I still, we're still kind of in shock. I remember when we found out we were on tour, uh, and we, like, we found out when we were sound checking, we were all like so shocked. We couldn't believe it, because we thought like yeah. we were going to, it was going to do okay, but we didn't think it was going to do that good. Yeah, well, congrats on that. It's pretty Thank awesome. And I think there are some common stereotypes amongst heavier bands for anybody who may be a little ignorant on the type of music. Um, so what are you guys doing, especially on this album, to sort of break the mold and differentiate yourselves from other bands in the scene? It's so difficult to kind of like pinpoint what you do as a band. I always find it so hard to kind of say what, what we are almost. I always kind of find it hard because we have so many elements to us. Um, but I think just being a bit real and just kind of thinking outside the box, it's so easy to write like a chugga chugga breakdown, boring records exactly. with just like derogatory swear words in gaps and you know, not, you know, we have stuff, we have breakdowns, we have swear words, but I think you just kind of think of it outside the box. You can't just have a whole record of 10 songs that sound exactly the same and then have your next record sound exactly the same as that. Yeah. You've got to push yourself. You can't release the same record twice. Yeah, I appreciate you not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you said in a making of the album video that you'd posted on YouTube that every album marks a chapter of your career. Um, so through the lyrical content of this album, what aspects of your life were represented on this album? I think it was just a kind of... Um, like a awareness almost you know on Daybreaker we were talking about things that we were still kind of learning about and it was a very like factual record or as I think with this one it's kind of more us kind of putting it on a plate for people to kind of relate to more you know like kind of instead of being told things instead of being like you this record's more kind of like a we it has a kind of vibe to it uh, but we're still talking about things that are very relevant to us and in fact just very relevant to the world too yeah and one song that stuck out to me was colony collapse um what's the story behind that song well right now in uh in there's a thing called fukushima which is a radioactive plant which is uh was affected during the tsunami and uh, one of the reactors is uh is just pushing radioactive waste into the sea every single day um which has happened before uh, and we haven't learned from it and we're not discussing it um, and we should because it's very dangerous it's killing our wildlife it's destroying god knows how much uh, food and everything just all around the whole area it's, it's just being turned into a wasteland uh, you hear stories of fishermen that go out and they don't see a live fish for like thousands of miles like if that reactor really kicks off and goes like the whole of Japan will be destroyed yeah. and it's not in the news and it's not discussed and uh, it's just crazy to us that we thought we should write a song about it and kind of 
at least raise the awareness a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty intense there. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy you guys are bringing more awareness to something like that. And um, I know also in the making of video, you guys seemed like perfectionists yeah, on this album, yeah. really. You were constantly re-recording things till it was exactly how you wanted it to sound. And as artists, you can always change things. Yeah, so yeah. how did you know exactly when you were done? I don't think I don't think we ever really know when we're done. I think it's <laughs> kind of, you can, you can always go back and change things. You can always go back and... Uh, do better. I, I think it's just so. It's such a hard thing to, to actually rip yourself away from it because it's such like it's like your baby. You know, right. you you spend so long like on it and you put everything you can into it and then you just let it out there for everybody else. Like, oh, you're growing up now. Go to school. You know, like right. it's crazy. It's it's so hard. I don't think a song's ever really finished. You just have to you have to let go. Mm -hmm. So, do you find sometimes if you listen back to the album, there are little things that you wish you would have changed, or are you cool with it? I think on every other record other than this one. I think uh, there's been bits that I would like to change, but this one, I think, you know, we worked so hard on it and, and did everything we possibly could because it was such an important record to us. Yeah. Uh, but no, I actually think we did, we nearly got it. That's there. good to you hear. You can never do a perfect album, but we, we <laughs> tried. Close to perfect then. Nearly there. Nearly Almost. There. Nearly. Um, and as we mentioned, you guys are on tour with Let Live right now, along with I The Mighty and Glass Cloud. Mm -hmm. Awesome lineup. Yeah. Um, what's coming up right after this for you guys? Uh, we have uh, two weeks at home, which is amazing, because we, we would have, by the end of this, we would have been on tour for 11 weeks with a week at home. Uh, so we get to chill out with our girlfriends and see our families and stuff. Uh, and then we're doing loads of European festivals, just loads of in and outs, like flying around. Um, and then we have Australia, then I think we're going to go back to Canada, then we're Exciting. back in America at the end of the year. It's, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Awesome. Well, lots to look forward to for yeah. your fans then. Yeah. And anybody who wants to stay in touch on Facebook, Twitter, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, where can everybody follow the band? Uh, we're just, I think it's just Architects UK on Twitter. and Keeping just, it simple. Yeah, Architects on uh, Facebook, and we all have Twitter and stuff, so yeah. just, yeah. All right. Well, sounds great. Thank yeah, you so you. much for hanging out. Thank this has much. been awesome. Everybody watching, make sure you check out Architects. Lost Forever, Lost Together is on iTunes now. Subscribe for more interviews, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.